Hi everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. Got a question from my, my friend Gernot. Gernot is a wonderful man, a, a German discus thrower, and now owns several gyms. He has a question about training for ice hockey. So, you know, you're going to ask a guy from South San Francisco, where I saw snow two times in my life, until I went to the Utah State University and, and saw a lot of ice and snow. When I talk about ice, training for ice hockey, the person I always reference, of course, is Mike Boyle. I love Mike. Mike's a good friend of mine. Um, the one thing I do like about Mike, and I talked to him just yesterday, in fact, and Mike said that I've got to be more vigilant, too, about taking on the hucksters and jackasses that are on the Internet. The problem is, if I fought the idiots in uh, fitness online, if I don't have the time, I don't have enough lifetimes to answer all the stupid people. Just because someone takes off their shirt and looks good doesn't mean they know crap about fitness. But I love Mike. When it comes to ice hockey or any winter sport, it really, really helps that your parents were smart enough to be born in an area that supports it geographically. Uh, <laughs> It seems, from what I've read, that it helps a lot to be from Canada, Finland, and the northern parts of Russia. The second thing it seems to help is, especially in Canada, to be born uh, at the right date of the year so that you always have a bit of a lead, so you're the, always the oldest person in the group. Those two things have got to be recognized before you get going. From there, it is nice to see that hockey, like baseball, boxing, and basketball, is finally embracing the weight room. Uh, I have had long conversations. I've given workshops to NHL coaches. I've talked a lot with some smart people. Um, one of the things about hockey is that it, the demands are very difficult in season because they play a highly a high collision sport but they play lots and lots and lots of games. So very often in season, I'm gonna talk about in season first, one of the hardest things about being a professional hockey player is that your strength training has to happen after a competition. And that gets very difficult. So you just played out there on the ice, there was three periods, maybe there was an overtime, and now you come in, you're tired, you smell, and then you have to go over and train. But that's just the way it has to be if you want a long, great career. Uh, there's every so often we see that picture of Gordy Howe, and he's uh, he worked on a, a farm, a ranch in the off season, swinging axes all day long, all day long. And he was you know, he's pretty ripped up. And there's some value to that. Mostly, I would tell you to go read Mike Boyle, what he talks about. Mike talks a lot about. There's two things I want to bring up. Mike's told me first, of course. He's very much into single leg training. And of course, if you know my work, it's, there's almost no single leg training Mike because we work with different audiences. So the first thing, listen to Mike, get very strong at, uh, at certain kinds of single leg activities in the weight room, have a big clean, have a big uh, weighted chin up, and have some kind of press movement. Single leg, clean, chin up movement, some kind of press. And the second thing is, and this is a hard thing for a lot of coaches to get used to, is have your hockey players sit down between sets of lifts. And this is something Mike told me, and I was at first like, well, that's strange. Well, in hockey, you spend a lot of time sitting and then leaping up and performing. So his idea is to actually practice that in the same way that as a, as a, as a football coach, uh, I actually practice having my athletes stand around and then be asked to do something very violent. Um, I'm certainly no expert. My number one thing would be to tell you, go listen to people who know what they're talking about. Uh, Sean, my friend Sean is somebody. Mike Boyle is somebody. Listen to those who know what they're talking about. But the most important thing is take weightlifting seriously in hockey. If you're still old school and you just think you get by with, you know, <laughs> drinking beer and eating hot dogs and going out and playing, you're not going to be very good. I'm Dan John from Dan John University, and I hope that helps.